talking so weird it's embarrassing anyway cold brew smoothie with um hemp protein very good my mouth is so swollen i should have scheduled my appointment for later in the day because now I can't really do a whole lot. I need to work on some sponsored posts. Spons. I can't even talk. I need to. I. I need to work on some sponsored posts, and I can't because I need my face. And I can't do that with this. And I keep biting my something because I can't feel. Okay, goodbye. So I attempted to record this clip when my mouth was numb and it was just inaudible completely. So I'm doing a quick voiceover to show you guys what I picked up from Nespresso. First, I got two sleeves of the Double Espresso Charo. These are my favorite. They're so good over ice. It's basically just a double shot of espresso. And then I also picked up a Costa Rica sleeve. These are really good. I really love the flavor of them. And then lastly, I got the Bianco Forte. I've never tried these, but some girls I follow on Instagram always rave about them. So I figured I would give them a try. I'll let you guys know what I end up thinking. So it's a couple days later now. I look very crazy right now. But I just got home from work a couple hours ago. I made some avocado toast. And I've just been working on some stuff on my computer for school. And then I was also talking to some brands about some upcoming partnerships, which I'm super excited about. But um, I wanted to pick up the camera because I haven't vlogged in a couple days. I've had a really crazy last couple days. I've been doing merchandising shifts at work where I like process shipment and merchandise before the store opens. So I've been getting at... I've been getting to work at 6 a.m. once or twice a week, which is crazy because I have to leave my apartment by 5.20 and wake up at like 4.55, 5 a.m. But I don't have to like get ready or anything like that. I just put on sweatpants and go. But I honestly love it. It's just so exhausting. But it's so like fun being there when it's like still dark outside and no one's awake yet. I feel like I get so much done at that time of day. I really miss waking up early. So I've been trying to get back into that, but um, I'm about to start getting ready for bed soon, but I thought it would be fun to throw in just a little nighttime routine for you guys because I haven't shown you, you know, what I do in a nighttime routine in a while. So I'm going to start with washing my face, just getting very much, you know, just get comfortable, take off my makeup, brush my teeth, that whole situation. So... I'll go ahead and take you guys into my bathroom. Okay, hopefully the lighting in here is okay. Um, I'm gonna start with taking off my makeup. First, I'm gonna put my hair up. It's so funny whenever I put a tripod up in my bathroom or really anywhere because I always forget that I'm tall and it's never high enough. Let me know down below how tall y'all think I am in real life if you don't know me. 
like personally i know some of you are on here and i know you like personally in real life so please don't give it away but how tall do you think i am because i'm pretty tall archie how tall are you this is how tall archie is <laughs> i love you if you've been on my channel for a while you know i love coconut oil oh i just kind of spilled some coconut oil archie also loves coconut oil and as soon as i pull out the jar he knows and he like runs up to me and he likes to lick the inside of the jar so i have to close it immediately because that just can't be good for him i guess he has to get his natural fats in you know but i always use coconut oil to take off my makeup and it really just like breaks down the makeup you can use it on your eyes too which is nice taking off mascara is like one of my least favorite things in this world especially if you like just have a makeup wipe taking off mascara with a makeup wipe is the worst thing if you know you know my downfall to coconut oil is i wear contacts so like after i do it on my eyes like my eyes feel a little cloudy for a minute but it goes away my face honestly gets really red i just have really sensitive skin so like even when i just touch it it gets red so that's why it looks like that next i'm just using an enzyme cleansing wash and i'm just um double cleansing if you only take off your makeup you're not doing enough just a reminder because um there's always makeup like left for the longest time i would just take off my makeup and then do my skincare on top and i would never wash my face and I would still break out and that's exactly why my face it's took off all my makeup washed my face and then next also is anyone else getting like I've been getting like acne like on and like around my nose from my mask and it's the most annoying thing because I've never broke out on my nose in my life um and I am very thorough about washing my masks it's just really annoying. I never thought this would happen, but I know this happens to a lot of people. Also, my eyes are really red. It's just from touching them, because like I said, my skin is sensitive. Next, I'm going to be going in with this resurfacing night serum. It's squalene and lactic acid. This is um, by Biosans. I would like to thank Biosans for sponsoring today's video have been obsessed with their skincare products for years so honestly this is just like a dream collaboration because their skincare is major i love the thought that they put behind all of their products and the ingredients you guys know clean skincare is so important to me um i would rather use no skincare at all if it's not clean skincare to be honest with you the serum is made with 10% vegan lactic acid. It also just resurfaces and clears up your skin's texture overnight, which I'm sold. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my moisturizer. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And this is my ride or die moisturizer. And I'm just gonna put it all over. I like to put the resurfacing night serum on underneath my moisturizer so it's the first thing that soaks into my skin. But you can definitely do it either way. Okay, after I have this all rubbed in, I'm gonna let it dry and soak into my skin for a minute before I go in with the next step. Okay, next I'm gonna be going in with the Biosance Squalene and Marie Algae Eye Cream. This stuff is no joke. I love the consistency of it. Squalene is so moisturizing. And if you have dry under eyes like I do, this definitely makes a difference. So I'm just l lightly patting it under my eyes. And what's cool about this is you can put it on top of your eyes as well. Just don't get it in your eyes. Yeah. We love a good eye cream around here. Then lastly, I'm going to be going in with the Biosance Squalene and Vitamin C Rose Oil. 
I'm obsessed with this stuff, guys. I have been putting it on morning and night. The other products, um, I'll like switch in and out of my routine, but this vitamin C oil is so good. I rub it in my hands and then I kind of just pat it into my skin so it absorbs it nicely. It smells so good, like literal roses. And just kind of let it soak into my skin. And then the extra, I always blend down my neck because I refuse to have neck wrinkles. I want to look snatched when I am 85 years old. And I also want to look snatched when I'm in the coffin, except I won't be in the coffin because I refuse to go underground. Next, I'm gonna change into my pajamas. If you're wondering, I just thrifted these pajamas a couple days ago. I got this pajama set. They're like silky, long sleeve with pants, and I literally got them for $6. This is your daily reminder to go thrift because you can find the best stuff. I'm not even kidding you. Um, I'm obsessed. They're so comfy, and I love like a bougie set of pajamas. Like It just really elevates the experience. Also, two of my nighttime essentials are the Glossier Mint Balm.com. I always keep this on my nightstand. It feels so good, especially for nighttime. It's like a sweet treat. Like, it just feels so good and, like, soothing. And then lavender oil. I put this on my wrists every night and, um, like, on my neck to just help me relax. about to end off this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed the skincare segment i have not done that in a while so definitely no let me know what you think also check out biosance link down below seriously a dream partnership i'm so glad i'm able to you know talk about such great products on my channel and you guys know that i wouldn't just talk about them that's just not who i am i'm very i take a lot of pride in being authentic and using your platform to bring value to your audience so i really hope you guys check out the link down below i'm so excited about this and definitely subscribe if you like this video and thumbs it up leave a comment down below let's chat i don't want this to be a one-sided relationship and i will see you guys in my next vlog